Hi, my name is Shay Arian. Um, I wrestled 113 this year. The state tournament was really good, I feel like. I've, it's a lot different than last year. Um, last year we only had eight man brackets and it was just a lot different than like the guys tournament and stuff. And I feel like this year it really grew. There was a lot more girls and more competition too. As years go by, it's gonna grow a lot more. I know next year it'll be even bigger than it was this year. I took fourth. I got disqualified in my last match uh, from clasping, which was a good lesson to learn for me. Um, I won't do that again. Overall, I feel like it was a really good tournament and I'm really happy with the outcome and Spearfish did really good and I'm proud of Spearfish and the coaching. I'm Taylor Graveman and I'm a junior at Spearfish High School. Uh, we had the state wrestling meet this previous weekend and it was a pretty good experience for all of the new girls that joined wrestling this year. We had uh, Mariah Kruski uh, play second. Shea took fourth. Kind of just a good eye opener for all of them. I feel like they progressed pretty well throughout the year, so it was a pretty good experience for all of them. I wrestled four times throughout the state tournament, pinning all of my opponents in the first period. Um, I think I had a total time on the mat under three minutes, so that was pretty cool. I'm Jaden Whirlinger. I'm an eighth grader. I took eighth place at state. My matches were okay for the most part. Won a couple of them by pin. Some of the matches that I lost, it was either bad placement on my part or more experience on theirs, which I know, and that I'll get better at and I'll have more opportunities to. And I'm really proud of those people who got better. And I'm really proud of the team and how they did and everyone that competed, no matter how if they placed or not and how good they did and whoever they faced. This is Coach Martin, uh, just going to recap the, uh, uh, the girls portion of the state tournament this year. Um, girls did a really good job. We kind of came in ranked third and we ended up in third place, um, which was pretty remarkable considering um, there are 10 weight classes uh, and we only filled six of those weight classes. So we had four open and then only four of our girls actually placed in the state tournament. Um, so to get third place was, was a pretty big deal. And you know that was the first time in uh, South Dakota history really that they've had a girls uh, team placement. Last year they had just individual and this year was a, a team placement and obviously individual placement. Um, so uh, just give you a little bit of a rundown. I had 106 pounds. Uh, uh, Mariah Kruski got second place. Uh, come in number one. Um, had kind of a difficult finals uh, and, and a girl that we had beaten before. Um, but you know Mariah is a warrior and, and she'll bounce back. Uh, she had a great tournament for us. You know easily was one of our leaders all year. A junior. Um, was one of our best wrestlers. I think that was only her second loss this year. Um, but hey, it's a great job to get second place. Uh, did a great thing for the team. Like I said, she was a phenomenal leader for us. Helped the girls out in practice. Um, and, and we're looking for, you know, she's going to do some stuff this summer and, and, and we'll improve and we'll get right back at it next year. And she'll be, I'm pretty sure she'll be right back at the top next year for us. At 113 pounds, Shea Erian, a freshman for us, she ended up in fourth place, which was what her seed was going in. Um, kind of had a tough loss in her third and fourth place match, but you know Shea's been a battler all season too. She's really improved since last year. Does a little more with her offense, um, and and even on top is she, she's just a battler on top and can turn girls really good. Um, at 120 pounds, Ellie Jeffrey had a kind of a tough state tournament. She went one and two. Um, all six of our girls actually won one match, which helps a lot with team points. Ellie had an injury earlier in the season and just never kind of was the same coming back from that. But again, she's only a freshman as well, so we expect you know three more good years out of her. Um, at 126 pounds, we have an eighth grader, Sydney Badwound. Um, she ended up not placing either. She went one and two. Um, got a shoulder injury last week, Monday of state, which kind of, uh, you know, it didn't help her, let's put it that way. And I think that kind of caught up to her by her third match of the day. It was hurting her pretty good. But she's already uh, looking forward to next year. Um, I think she's doing uh, the Heartland Duels team, which is they take a team from South Dakota and go to Iowa and wrestle. Um, and she's already signed up for that. She'll be a good wrestler for us for years to come. I mean, she, again, she's only an eighth grader. And then, of course, at 132 pounds, you had Taylor Graveman. There's not much more you can say. She, you know, she had a great state tournament. Um, she got the max points. So when you uh, win four matches, 
uh, at the state tournament and you're a state champion and you pin all four of your matches, you score 30 points. So it's kind of like a perfect score, um, which, is, which is a pretty cool thing. It's not an easy thing to do, not a very easy thing to do at all. And she did it, I think, in her four matches, she wrestled a total of like three minutes and 23 seconds or something like that on the mat. So uh, pretty awesome. And, and you know, she'll, she'll be doing big things in the summer. She's signed up for some of those Team South Dakota teams. She'll be training again for the USA Nationals, which is in Fargo, to kind of go back there and, and uh, hopefully get All-American again. Um, she's already training as we speak, you know, in, in this week. At 142 pounds, we had another eighth grader, Jaden Whirlinger. Uh, she got eighth place for us, which was really cool. She just came out this season. So for her to start at the end of October with middle school with me and finish in eighth place and probably what I would say is the toughest weight class at the state tournament, that's pretty impressive. Um, so she was great. We call her. She's so flexible. She gets out of a lot of moves and stuff. And But uh, again, a great job by her just to come out and, and, and get eighth place as an eighth grader in her first year was, was fantastic. So, you know, that, that's all the placers we had or all the girls we had. Again, we only had six out of ten, ended up in third. Um, and we return everybody for next year and hopefully a few new ones and we can bump some weight classes and try to fill all ten of those weight classes if we can get some girls out next year. And, you know, we're looking forward to great things from our girls here down in the future.